Gosh. What's up, guys? It's me, Blake, and I'm here at Madison. Welcome to What's the Scoop, Spartans? First things first, let's get started with the Spartan Snacks Lunch Report. Lunch this week includes walking tacos, grilled chicken, spaghetti, beef burrito, and Mr. Rib. That's all from Spartan Snacks. Now let's wash that down with another sip of Here's the Tea. Tonight is the high school Christmas concert in Elkhorn at 7 p.m. Come on out to listen to the beautiful Christmas songs brought to you by the high school and junior high choirs and bands. Here's Tatum Grubbs with an interview of some high schoolers performing in the concert tonight. I am here with Jesse Marshall, a member of chorus and band. What is the main reason you're out for band? Um, it's a challenge for me. What is the best part about being out for band? One, um, it's an easy ticket out of getting out of like a harder class. Two, it's just like a really good environment. Like it's always fun. How do you get ready for a performance? A lot of deep breaths. I get really nervous. If someone wants to go out for band, how would you persuade them to go out? It's a really easy ticket out of like getting out of a class. I mean, you still have to put work in because it is an instrument, so you have to learn. But it's also way funner than taking maybe another English or a math class. Are you ready for the performance tonight? No. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Tomorrow, the basketball teams will continue their conference play at Peyton Chardin. Girls start at 6 with boys to follow. Then Friday, the teams will travel to Woodbine to face the Tigers. Here's an interview of head girls basketball coach Mr. Peterson by Jacob Rattenberg. Yeah, I'm Coach Peterson here at Xyra Elkhorn Kimmelton. Um, going into uh, my 22nd year of coaching high school girls basketball and really looking forward to it. Sweet. What are you looking into for the season? Like, what do you picture for the season, I guess? Well, you know, we have a lot of kids returning. Um, we lost just two seniors a year ago, so a lot of our offensive production is there with our kids understanding what the program is. However, uh, it's still going to be a learning process. Um, we have a lot of kids that didn't get as much playing time maybe a year ago, so it's, it's going to take, uh, take some time for us to get healthy uh, to figure some things out. we got a few kids that are banged up, but you know, they just have to start to understand things. We're a little bit behind uh, where I want to be right now, but you know, that's part of the process. We only have nine kids out, so we, we're, we're nicknaming ourselves the Notorious Nine. So the girls are having a little bit of fun with that. <laughs> well, it sounds like you're going to have a blast this year anyways. Yeah, yeah it, it's, it's an exciting time. It's that time of year. Well, that's good. How do you feel about your competitors coming out? Well, obviously you want them to compete uh, as much as possible. Um, you know, that's part of playing high school sports, Bob, is uh, getting all of our girls to compete at the highest level. And, you know, we, we play, a, we have a tough schedule once again uh, with a lot of teams in our conference that are going to challenge us. Uh, and hopefully we're able to challenge them as well. So, um, you know, it's, 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 it's just going to be an exciting time. Uh, I always feel that, you know, the first couple of months are a learning curve. Um, you want our kids to be developed uh, and ready to go by the end of February when it matters most. On with this uh, learning curve you're talking about, what's going to be your greatest challenge this year? <clears throat> well, um, right now it's just getting finding another kid to practice <laughs> because we only have nine kids. Uh, you know, so it's been it has been a challenge. You know, Coach Bartz is doing an outstanding job. I'm in there also trying to, and then we ask some kids to come in and help um, every once in a while. But, you know, so practice, getting the kids to understand how to practice. Uh, you yourself understand that, yeah. uh, playing for me. And, you know, right now our kids don't get that. <clears throat> um, you know, you're going to practice. You need to practice how you're going to play in the game. And uh, it's just, it's it's been a learning curve trying to get our kids to understand that. You know, it's... Your work all starts in practice, and that way those games, you only get 21 of them, so you need to be ready to go. Yeah, every game matters, so. Yep. What do you want to accomplish by then this year, I guess? Well, you know, obviously you want your kids just to to play their best. Um, you know, we don't, I, I don't ask them to look uh, for the wins and the losses or anything like that, as long as, you know, we're doing things to where we're improving throughout the season. Um, <clears throat> so when we look back into November when we are in February, 
you know, if we can look back and say, hey, we've really progressed this year. Um, we've improved in a lot of ways, especially with character. Um, you know, I feel that our kids right now this year, it's, it's a very close nine uh, that we have. It's probably, there's more good chemistry there than what we've had in the past, and that's what you need to be successful. So, um, you know, we just want to be, we want to improve. You know, if we're not improving by the end of the year, then obviously as a coach, you got to reflect and go back and change things. Yep. You got to keep on working on the team anyways. Yep. Constantly. That's, you know, that's just part of it. That's part of high school athletics, Bob. Is there anything else you would like to talk about the team or? Well, you know, it's that time of year. Anytime we can get the fans to come out and support us, uh, that would be great. Uh, I think we got the best fans in the world. Um, <clears throat> the more, the merrier. You know, the loudest, uh, when it, it's loud in the gym, the kids really feed off of that. <laughs> Uh, that there's a lot of positive energy that goes with it. Um, I think we play an exciting style of basketball. Uh, you know, we're going to press. We want to get up and down the floor as much as we can. Um, you know, so if you get a chance to come on out and support our gals, I would really appreciate it. And I appreciate everything that you guys are doing with Spartan Media. Uh, it's something new for you guys as well. It's going to be exciting, you know, to see. And thanks to KJAN for coming up and Jim Fields for doing all of that. So this will be kind of neat. Thank you. Yep, thank you. We hope to see you all at the game supporting your Spartans. There will also be a student council meeting Wednesday at 7.15 in Mrs. Boyson's room. That's all for here's the tea. We have many new teachers this year at Exire EHK, and we want to get to know them better. Here's Jacob Rattenberg with an interview of our new history teacher, Mr. Hansen. I'm Jacob. I'm here again with Mr. Alex Hansen. So, uh, Mr. Hansen, as I said, teacher here at Xyra EHK. I teach high school social studies. Where did you go to high school at? I went to school at Remsen Union uh, up in Remsen, Iowa. No longer a school or it's MMCRU now so you might be familiar with MMC. Hate man football. Um, but that's where I went. Gotcha. Where did you go to college at? I went to three different places. Started off with Iowa Central, made my way to Briar Cliff University and then uh, University of Northern Iowa where I ended. Hmm. Did you ever think you were going to be a teacher? I did not. I originally went to school for athletic training. So so you thought you were going to be like an athletic trainer? or I did. I did. I thought so. I was there doing that for about a year and a half. Um, found out math and science was not my thing. So difficult. Yeah. What do you like doing after school? Well, I like playing basketball here with the basketball team and usually lifting weights and getting papers graded and all that good homework, So, which I need to catch up on a little bit, but it's okay, 100% flying. Make a fair point with that. What are three words that you would define yourself as? Oh, that's a tough question. Three words to define myself. Um, I would say critical, um, relatively intuitive, and thoughtful or reflective. I put those two together. So, okay. Did you play any sports in high school or college? Or? I did. So I played football and basketball in high school. Um, in college, I went and played two years in, for basketball. So I was Central Briarcliff, and then you and I nothing wasn't good enough for them, of course, Division One. So I had to try at least. I should have so tried. I, mean, I should have tried, but yeah. no. Uh, got too old. <laughs> Who's your, who was your role model growing up? Or? My role model growing up? Um, I would say I would have two, and they would be my parents. Um, seeing them work hard and provide for me throughout my lifetime. Yeah. Um, and seeing how hard they worked just to make sure I was doing the right thing, um, getting good grades in school, you know, just, just to them. I wouldn't be where I am without them, basically. Yeah. So, is there anything you would up, anything else you would like to say as a teacher from your standpoint, or from what you've seen this year at school, or anything else you would, or anything else you would like to share about yourself? Yeah, uh, I'll go with the teacher standpoint. Uh, so I'm in my first year of school uh, as a teacher, and I've seen a lot of growth from the students. The culture has definitely changed. Um, and I'm glad to be here. I'm glad that this is my first place and hopefully I'll, I'm here for a lot longer than a year. Obviously, we've been through quite a bit with the past social studies teachers, so, um, you know, just getting to know everybody um, and just being here, I, I've really enjoyed it. So, gotcha. um, I don't have a lot of interesting things about myself. 
besides going home and doing not a whole lot. So <laughs> I guess I wasn't too bad. But that was the interview with Coach Hanson. Thank you. Thanks, Jacob. Now here's Tatum Gross asking the Spartan students our holiday chat question of the week. What's your favorite thing about the holidays? Uh, family and food. I'm here with these two guys. What's your favorite thing about Christmas? Presents. Is that it? Yes. Yeah. Um, getting to spend time with family. What are you guys' favorite thing about Christmas? Did it? Christmas lights. That's it? Yeah, look at our Christmas lights. Uh, mine is probably all the Christmas cookies that we make and just having our house decorated. I love spending time with my family and friends. Okay. Hey, Newt, I got a question for you. Do you, bud? Yeah. Is that it? Don't worry. Where are you going? I thought that was a candy. What's your favorite thing about Christmas? When it's over. Okay. Thanks, Newt. Those were some great answers. That's the news for this week. You know what that means? It's time for Spartan Scoop joke time. Blake, what do you have for this week? Well, since it's holiday season, we're gonna get started with Christmas jokes. Oh boy! Who's Santa's favorite elf? Who? Elvis Presley. Haha, ha, that was so funny, Blake. They always are. That's all from us today. See you next time. <laughs>